Welcome to this Gillick Explains Finance video. This week, six things you should ask a financial advisor. Now, first of all, why do you need a financial advisor? Well, you want to start saving and investing, but you might be somewhere on this slide. You're not sure where to start. Maybe you've got the knowledge, but you don't have the time to do it all yourself. Or maybe you have the time, but you don't know enough to do it all yourself. Or maybe you just simply want to hand it over to somebody else. How do you choose that somebody else? Six questions, let's take a look. So, question number one. What is their background? Three things to look at. Are they FCA regulated? And that's something you can check on the FCA website. Number two, which qualifications do their staff hold? And do any of them have anything more than just the minimum benchmark qualifications for regulatory purposes? That can show a degree of commitment. And are they well established and highly rated for retail advice? Ask around. Number two, what range of services do they offer you? So can they talk about investments, financial planning, or both? Number two, how would you describe their client base on how would they describe it? In other words, do you sound like one of their clients in terms of age, profile, outcomes, and so on? And thirdly, what sorts of problem are they solving most often for clients? Ask them what top three issues they're currently dealing with and see if that fits with the kind of thing you're after. Question number three, how do they ensure that clients like you come first? So some tests here. How are they tied if they're tied to other financial organizations? Do they earn money for selling products and services from other financial organizations? You need to understand how that works. Number two, do they offer related services? So for example, if they're offering you funds, is that because they've got their own in-house funds, which one would imagine they want to push at you first? Just be careful there. Number three, how are they incentivized to sell products and services? Who incentivizes them and how? Number four, how much do they charge? Now, three things to look at here. Number one, what's the total cost of using them? Number two, can that be broken down in a way that you understand? And number three, how are they paid? Now, this could be a percentage of assets under management, could be a fixed fee, could be a commission, could be an initial fee, an exit fee, or a mixture, you need to understand. Number five, what is their investment approach? So, how do they decide where your money will be allocated and what sorts of risk profile they will allocate to you? Number two, how much input will you have in the investment process? And more importantly, how much input do you want in that investment process? And number three, what sorts of investments do they offer and do you understand them? If they're offering sexy sounding structured products, you have no idea how they work or what's under the bonnet, maybe be a little bit careful. Number six, how will they keep you posted once you're a client? So how often will you get portfolio updates and other updates? Is it the minimum or do they do more than that? Number two, who will be handling account queries? So who will be looking after you day to day? And number three, if things go wrong, what's their process for dealing with it? That's all quite important. Now some red flags to finish off. Meeting someone you neither, neither trust nor like. Gut feel matters. In other words, when you turn up, think, do I like this person? Do I trust this person? Can I imagine writing a check to them? If you're not sure, don't do it. Number two, a lack of clarity around fees and charges. Okay, the fee and charging structure may be complex depending on the level of service, but is it clearly broken down for you? Number three, no evidence of FCA regulation is a big no-no in my opinion. A one-size-fits-all investment approach. Be careful, sometimes people say it's a tailored investment approach. It's actually no such thing. It's kind of one-size-fits-all, whoever you are. Poor communication, ask around. Is this an open firm that you can get on the phone to and talk to? And number three at the top there, heavy incentives from another third party to sell products and services. You need to understand how that works, how they're remunerated, and whether you're happy with what could be a conflict of interest. Lots of ground cover there, lots of things to ask about financial advisors, so any questions to the usual place, and if you want to see related videos on this topic, kilik.com forward slash learn.